Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us on this March 7th. I still can't believe how cold it is. I know. It's right March. It is time. I was telling Ray Petlin last night, I am tired of winter. I am ready to move on, ready to go into spring. Can't wait. Well, plus, like, my hands are so dry. I hate to start complaining right off the bat here, but, <laughs> but my <you> skin <laughs> is so dry. I'm just so ready for the warmth and yes. everything that spring and summer bring. You know, I always feel better when I have a full stomach. Mm. Yeah. Well, for those of you who haven't had breakfast yet, although I hope people are up and at them by 9 yeah, o'clock in the morning. Yeah, hopefully you've had breakfast. What do you have for breakfast day, typically? I will have a variety of things, but I do love cereal. And that's why we're talking about this today, because it's National Cereal Day. It is National Cereal Day. Did you know that? So this is a day we all celebrate cereal. I think there's so much to celebrate, too. We, and so we were digging, doing a little digging today, just trying to find out a little bit more about how cereal got started. And it actually began in 1863. This was one of the first versions oh, of Fruity cereal. Fruity Pebbles. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Do you, you. love Fruity <laughs> That's your favorite? I love Fruity Pebbles as a kid. I love Fruity Pebbles. I have not had them. I didn't even know they still made them. Yes, of course they still make them. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Continue. You, you were telling us some I know what to get you for Christmas now. <laughs> Uh, I don't know that it's as important. Um, 1863, James Caleb Jackson. It was kind of like granola when it first started. So it wasn't even what we know and love. It wasn't right. like your... Like there wouldn't be sugar and it wouldn't no, be... Yeah, no, no. And it has colorful. evolved. It has evolved Well, in time. fact, it sort of was created as, as a health, healthy alternative because people's stomachs were all messed up because they weren't eating the right stuff, They right? weren't eating the right stuff. A lot of meat for breakfast. Mm -hmm. So they evolved over time. So, okay, this is what I love. 1950s, Frosted Flakes are created. Tony the Tiger is Tony born. Tony the Tiger, yes. And it's really, like, changed the whole uh, line of cereals. Right. They, they realized that people wanted sugar for breakfast. Yeah, so uh, with that in mind, what is your favorite cereal? And a, a poll has been taken it already. Has, yes. And let's see whether your choices are up here. Mine uh, isn't. It, all right. Number yeah. one on the list, number one on the cereal list is Cheerios. Number two, Honey Nut Cheerios. Number three, Frosted Flakes. I do like Frosted Flakes. You, yeah, they're it's okay. It's been a while since I've had Frosted Flakes. But uh, number four, Honey Bunches of Oats. Have a box of that at home. And five, oh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That doesn't even... That doesn't even taste like cereal. That's dessert. That's, it is dessert. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. I feel like the beauty of cereals, you can have it any time. You can have it for breakfast. You can have it for a snack. Right. Our producer, Jill, has it for dinner sometimes, she admits. Okay, mine is actually number seven on this list, Lucky Charms. I always have Lucky a box Charms. of Lucky Charms at the house. Is it? Is that what they have, the, the beer that's They're Lucky Charms They're magically delicious, yes. yes. <laughs> they are magically delicious. <laughs> Fruity Pebbles, by the way, was on the list, but it's number nine. Mm. So it, it still does exist. I didn't even realize yeah. they still made it. I, still, I like Fruity Pebbles, too. Okay, so don't come down here right now <laughs> with your bowl of cereal. No. The show doesn't open <laughs> until 4 o'clock this afternoon. That will change tomorrow. Right. We're going to have our live audience here tomorrow. Yes. But here are the hours. You can see them right there on your screen. Again, opens at 4 o'clock tonight through 10 o'clock tonight. Then tomorrow and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And again on Sunday, the final day of the Home and Garden Show. I can't believe we're already talking about this. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m.